While you obsessed about Samsung versus iPhone, you may have missed the very best health stories of the year. Welcome to a special year-end edition of In Case You Missed It, where we round up our very favorite health and science stories since I started making fun of myself for your enjoyment back in June. Vladimir Putin just for me. From the country that regularly brings you a shirtless president. <laughs> it fits the episode because shirtless means healthy, duh. Now nothing says healthy like a big fat cherubic baby. And tech got a piece of that this year with a study that first scared the hell out of us, but then made us feel better about childhood development. Only cause the humans win. And yet, one of our most exciting stories to follow involved cyborgs for a complicated race. Exoskeletons made big news this year because they really helped people walk. A team of doctors at UC Irvine used transceivers to wirelessly connect both sides of Adam Fritz's severed spine. Now, doctors at Ohio's Case Western Reserve University did the same thing to a patient's arms. We even put exoskeleton suits to work to study aging, and that is a challenge no one should actually want. Maybe this will be ready by the time people on the internet are grumpy and old. I won't deny it, I'm a straight rider. You don't wanna fuck with me. Got the police watching that. And since aging seems to only come with unpleasant medical procedures, you old men will care about this one an x ray pill for the business end. <laughs> An Israeli biotech firm has developed an x-ray pill to check for colon cancer. It works in tandem with a disposable patch worn on the lower back. The patient swallows the pill, and as it passes through the digestive tract, the pill emits x-rays that bounce off the walls of the intestines like tiny radioactive sonar. We're bringing Star Trek to the here and now with a device that would be a lot easier to use than even an updated stethoscope. Yeah. I'm talking about the fictional tricorder. The Star Trek future we've all been waiting for just got a little closer. Stanford researchers developed a tricorder-like device that non-invasively scans your body for cancer. In terms of actually taking the medicine if you are sick, science made strides there too. Doctors in Toronto made a major medical breakthrough by figuring out how to bypass the blood-brain barrier, which is the membrane that keeps your bloodstream away from the gray important stuff, which should help life-saving medicine get there faster. May we suggest combining that with this interesting study. This unfurling friend right here that's actually a tumor acting like a fruit roll-up. To make it, they use the patient's own genetic material to grow a cancerous mass along the length of a long collagen strip. If you thought that medicine would simply be injected or swallowed per the use, think again. It's an epilepsy medication that is deliberately porous so that a tiny bit of liquid will help it dissolve immediately. And with that, anyone with a 3D printer can become Walter White. I am the one who knocks. Google Glass-like displays were good for more than just creeper pictures, with the setup that helps the hearing impaired find out what's being said in real time. The LTCCS is wholly dedicated to providing closed captioning and is therefore perfectly suited to keep up with a real, live conversation. And now, the tech that made us say, aww. If you've got to have a prosthetic arm, why not have as much fun as possible? This is a prototype of a Lego compatible arm for kids called the Ico Creative Prosthetic System. And finally, our society might one day stop giving little people concussions for the fun of it with this head trauma preventer. University of Pennsylvania researchers created a polymer that changes color depending on the amount of force used against it. The idea is to use lab-created crystals to mass-produce helmets to protect even the littlest tough guys. Go, go. Oh, oh my gosh! Solid work this year, science! 